Hi, I'm Captain Sauce. You may remember me from such videos as Battle Cats number 45 and Battle Cats number 44. Now, as one of the best Battle Cats players in the world, I've been afforded many luxuries that other players aren't, such as the developers sending me things in the mail. What those things may be, I'm not entirely sure, but that's not what matters. What matters is they paid their respect to the king. But for real, the developers actually sent me Battle Cat stuff in the mail, and I figured we would open it together because I would imagine there aren't that many Battle Cat items in the world, at least not in North America, so I'm really curious as to what they sent me. <laughs> I have my own real life Battle Cat! Oh my god, it's so Asian. I'm not sure if you guys can read that or not because of the camera's focus, but I can't read it because of the language. What's wrong with these people? They didn't even poke air holes. This poor cat has been sitting here for months. <laughs> Come on, base cat. There you go. My own Battle Cat's plushie. Okay. What else do we have? Some... Uh, <laughs> I think this is a Gamatoto towel. Oh, yeah. That must sound wonderful. Well, it definitely is Gamatoto. I still don't know if it's a towel or not, though. It's a little oddly shaped. Maybe it's for flossing your butt? We also have a base cat one. I I'm guessing that they might be dish towels or hats. You know, one of the two. We've got some Battle Cats brand packing material. I'll be sure to hold on to that. And uh, a couple of hard things? What is this? Mimi Pokey. Oh, I see. It's like a little black cat coin purse. A little rubbery thing that you can keep your change in. We also have a new... New... Again, my Japanese is a little rough, and I'm really hoping that Ponos is Japanese and not Chinese. I'm pretty sure they're Japanese, but new must be Japanese for pencil holder. Cool. Hi, Captain Sauce. We really appreciate all your hard work over the last year, and we just wanted to send along some small gifts to show our thanks for making our game look so much fun with every video you produce. Hope you continue to enjoy the Battle Cats. We're working hard to bring even more awesome stuff to you soon. Thanks as always, from Ponos. Well, thank you very much for sending me all this stuff, Ponos. I should probably play Battle Cats, shouldn't I? Yeah, let's go do that. What's up, guys, and welcome back to Battle Cats. And for today's episode, I wanted to do something a little bit different. Because as you guys know, I've played a lot of Battle Cats on the channel, but I haven't been playing it all that much recently. Like, people have noticed that it's been probably over a month since I made an episode, and it's mainly because I'm in a very awkward point of the game, where on one hand, a lot of the stuff that they release is just way too easy for me. Like, I crush it, I fly through it, it's meant for newer players, and then it's not all that entertaining to watch. But on the other hand, a lot of the stuff that I haven't beaten in the base game is just way too difficult, and I don't stand a chance. So I don't really have a sweet spot to show you guys. You know, I don't wanna make videos just for the sake of making videos. I want there to be some kind of challenge. So for today's episode, I decided I would challenge myself. The Poco Pang collab event is going on for one more day, and a lot of you guys have left comments saying that you would love to see this, but as with most of these collab events, they're usually pretty easy. Like, they're easy, medium, and hard level stages, which isn't much of a challenge for me anymore. But I thought, what if I gave myself the added challenge of only using cats that I hate? So I have gutted my loadout, and we are only going to use cats that I haven't leveled up before. Cats that I haven't used in the past, cats that I open all the time and wish that I wouldn't open. I'm sure you guys can think of a few. So that way, it should be more entertaining for you guys, and probably a whole lot more frustrating for me. Which should then make it even more entertaining for you guys. I don't think it's fair that I use any of my basic cats, because I've already leveled them all up to true form, and they're level 40-something, and I've used them in past episodes. You know, it's not really in the spirit of the challenge. It would make things too easy. Special cats might be the same way, because I've had to level a lot of them up and test them out for the restrictions in Cats of the Cosmos, but there might be something here that I haven't shown you guys, like Heavy Assault Cat. Right, this was a true form that came up uh, in between episodes. It used to be cats in a box, then it leveled up to Cat Gang, and now it's Heavy Assault Cat. So we can try you out, but I don't think there's going to be a whole lot more here for us. You know, the event cats and the little cats, 
I feel like they don't really count. Fortunately, there's gonna be a lot of garbage waiting for us in rare cats because the only thing rare about them is how often I use them. I would imagine that a lot of these guys have been unlocked quite a bit. Yeah, Thief Cat, we unlocked nine times. Sure, why not? I've never leveled you up. Monk Cat, which used to be Bishop Cat, is level 13. He's evolved, but I've never put a level into him because we just keep unlocking him so we can give him a try. Same with Fisherman Cat, Necromancer Cat. Archer Cat? This is one that people are always telling me to try out, and I keep saying that he's one of the worst cats in the game, but people keep disagreeing with me. So, I, I guess we're gonna find out today. Plain Cat, you got 15 unlocks on you. <laughs> These are cats that we have seen so frequently because I unlock them all the time, but I just never want to use them. So, I guess now is the time, right? This is the episode. Vacation Queen? Alright. Oh, wait. We're missing the number one perpetrator. Is he a super rare? De definitely a super rare hip hop cat. <laughs> there we go. Okay, you know, I think that's a good first loadout. We don't have any meat shields. We don't have any Ubers. We just have uh, uh, nonsense, essentially. But I might try to level some of these guys up. I get the feeling I'm going to waste a lot of experience this episode. I got four million experience that I wanted to use on good cats. But I also kind of want to use it on bad cats. <laughs> Two million experience later, we're moving into Trio from the Woods, which fortunately is a time score event, which means we stand absolutely no chance at getting any of these rewards because our cats are kind of crap. Okay, and I've contemplated showing you guys the leveling up and what they evolve into and reading their new bios and stuff like that, but I've been talking for long enough. I just want to play the game. I feel like this episode has been going on for an hour and I haven't actually summoned a cat yet, so I can show you the Thief Cat has evolved into Phantom Thief Cat. Why he's a phantom, I'm not entirely sure. He just kind of got a, a top hat and stuff like that. And this is the weird mecha box cat that I was talking about, and they're... They're killing a, a sheep. What the... Why, why is this sheep just, like, crapping out apples when he attacks? <laughs> I thought my cats were supposed to be weird this episode. Okay, Murcat has evolved into Commando Cat, who just kind of crawls along awkwardly. All right, Archer has evolved into Cupid. Very curious to see what Cupid is going to be all about. It's supposed to have a very long range. I don't have any meat shields, guys, so you're just going to have to fend for yourselves. Oh. Okay. Here comes the Bucktooth Rabbit. We better send out, oh my god, he's got like, carrot missiles. We need to send out our secret force of Flasher Cat. Hip Hop Cat has now gone PG-13. And we also have um, Lady Office Worker Cat. I don't know, the cats are getting real weird. You can tell that these are B and C tier cats for sure. Let's just send out a little bit of everybody, why don't we? And uh, you guys, oh, what the? I actually catch just like one shot at the base and the boss, and we got the time score rewards. <laughs> Way to go, guys. Not sure what the difficulty on that stage was, but puzzle attack down. Now we're moving on to collecting cherries. Hopefully there'll be even more of these terrifying little crossover event things. I got so wrapped up in my own cats that I completely forgot we were gonna see a bunch of very strange new enemies and some typical vanilla normal enemies. Okay, you know what? We're gonna send you out. We haven't seen you yet. You know, whack stuff, okay. <laughs> Same with, oh, Fisherman Cat? Have we seen him either? These are such strange cats. Oh, that's different. No, no, I really don't want your basket of corn, Mr. Bear. We've seen plenty of bears in this game, but no bear is quite like that. <laughs> Instead of slapping, he just offers you food? And what, you just get lazy and stop fighting? I'm not entirely sure. These mecha cats are hilarious. <laughs> They run so awkwardly. They take giant steps, and they're kind of spammable. They're expensive, but you can send them out pretty frequently, which is surprising. Okay, fire the cat cannon and send out a little bit of everything else. I didn't see how Lady Office Worker attacks. We're gonna have to, oh, 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 we're gonna have to keep an eye out for that. No, 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 guys, I don't have meat shields, okay? I'm sorry. <laughs> you guys are just gonna have to stand your ground, okay? Come on, Lady Office, oh, you're dead. This is what happens when you take a lady office worker and you make her into a cat and send her into battle against a rabbit? Everyday typical stuff. We've, we've seen it all before. I really wish I had a meat shield or an Uber or anything. <laughs> this feels awkward and just awful. 
Like, I, I could be flying through this with so many cats, but instead I have to stack up this garbage and just make a wall. Go, go, yes, there you go. Yeah, we did it. I could see the weakness in his eyes. Okay, way to go, Valentine Cat or Cupid Cat or whatever you are. Not total crap yet, but it's still pretty crap. So far, so good. We've managed to take down two levels and they didn't get anywhere near our base. That is definitely not going to be all the time rewards, though. We got two of them. Okay, acceptable. There are only three levels in this stage, and I would guess the Rainbow Blast is going to be the most difficult out of all of them. And I'm not changing anything up. I'm not going to level up any more cats. We have our loadout. We are ready to go. We are perfect. We just need to make sure they don't send out anything too big and scary. Oh, black units? It's not cool. You're not supposed to use, like, actual bad guys. I don't... Oh, oh, no, no, I, I can't... I don't know if I can beat that. Do I have anti-black? I don't know what any of these cats do. Oh, come on! You can't just send stuff out like that. I don't know if I have any anti-black. We're just gonna send out every cat, right? Y you were doing pretty good. Just, just slap them. Slap them, maybe? So... Oh. Yeah, I might want to read what some of these cats do. Phantom Thief Cat moves too fast, still steals the same, has a large treasure collection now, more money earned when defeating an enemy. Right, so if he kills something, we get a bunch of cash out of it. Monk Cat envelops the enemy in gracious serenity to allow them to move to the afterlife, might slow floating enemies. Cupid Cat rains arrows of love upon unsuspecting foes, does not like to get hurt, deals massive damage to floating enemies. Right, you're an absolute puss, aren't you? Like, not as in a cat, as in a giant wimp. If he gets hit by anything, he just explodes. Commando Cat. Hearing her prince got kidnapped, Merc Cat joined the Green Berets to save him. Strong versus floating might survive a lethal strike. I have so many anti-floating and we're never going to see floating enemies in easy stages. Office Lady Cat, just like it says, a typical office worker, but what happens after work? Fast attack speed, strong against red enemies. Has a whip in her purse. A lot of these cats are, are really kinky. Plain Cat, dreaming of the skies, he allowed the cat army engineers to install top class tech in his body, knocks back black enemies once in a while. So again, we do have a little bit more anti-black, it's just not good which is kind of the theme for this episode, I guess. And of course, Dancing Flasher Cat. Someone you don't want to see on the street dances skillfully to keep the game kid-friendly. Might slow red enemies. I also feel like he has a crazy powerful attack because I'm pretty sure he did a ton of damage to that base, but maybe I was just seeing things. He's a cat that I want to try out a little bit more. So do we have any other anti-black that I don't usually use. What are you? Oh, right! This was one of the kids that I got from uh, the Evangelion event. Seems to have known Shinji for a long while. Massive are damage to black. English are difficult to write, but I'll take it. Sure. Okay, you can uh, slot in over Commando. Commando doesn't seem all that useful. Got Gunslinger, Thaumaturge I use quite a bit. Uh... Yeah, you know what? I think that should do it. Again, the main issue is we don't have any meat shields. We have plenty of cats that do damage, but I can't save up money and just hold the enemy off. I could try sending out you just to kind of run down there and, and slow them, maybe. But at the same time, it would have been just as useful to send you out. Do you do stuff? No, no, you're supposed to do massive damage. Massive damage. Do your massive damage. Was that massive? I'm not entirely sure. I'm never gonna get enough money to send out one of these cat mechs. No, I'm gonna get wooled again. <laughs> There's just no stopping thing. Oh, cat mech, go, go, go. Yes, yes, okay. Well, we're, we're not screwed yet. Send out everything, send out all the things. No, don't let them touch the base. Oh. <laughs> Why is this so intense? No, it's just a stupid Harambe. We've killed a million of these things. No. This is so stupid! I could kill a hundred of these things with a single swipe of Bahamut. Why did I do this stupid challenge? I really did not want to have to do this, but we are going to have to use some very unorthodox meat shields, like Pump Cat, a mischievous cat who hid inside a carved autumn squash, lives to startle unsuspecting passerbys, and you are going to level up into Cat-O-Lantern. 
Those who live only for pranks become cursed to wander the world as ghosts, but they still never learn. Might freeze black enemies briefly. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. I'm pretty sure you're still a meat shield, hopefully. So you're level 20 now, and we're also gonna have to use Awa Odori Cat. Whether a dancing cat or watching cat, everyone's a cat, so why not just dance? Super cheap to allow for big parades. That's what I want. I want big old parades. So you have now evolved into So Run Cat. Heave ho, heave ho, a dance for fish. Of course, cats can get behind this tradition. Super cheap to allow for extra big catches. I, I can't believe I've wasted like 4 million experience on this stupid episode. I'm just now realizing that this is called Rainbow Blast and we've only seen the color black. If they send out like aliens and red and angels and stuff like that, we're pretty screwed. Oh no! Cat lantern cost 840? Why? That doesn't make any sense. He only cost 90 as the little dude. Oh, this is crap. Okay, well, he's still anti black and he's dead. Okay, um, guys, things are not quite going according to plan. Um, maybe, maybe meat shield, maybe meat shields. Okay, we got a lot of anti black out there. That, that's good, right? We, we got lots of stuff to, to stop the stuff. No, 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 I'm, I'm too busy talking to think. Please, just just stop. Keep them away. We're, we're doing better. At least the meat shields seem to be making some kind of difference. I can't tell if these stupid planes are actually pushing them back or not, but they seem to be trying. Stop hurting my base, thank you. Just do massive damage. You're supposed to be doing massive damage. Or weakening, yes! I've never been so happy to kill a stupid little black Harambe. Oh my God, okay, send out everything. Send out all the things, we're gonna, we're gonna die. Maybe we can get lucky, right? Maybe we can kill one of these guys before they get to the base and then we'll be able to Okay, you know what? I think I've had enough of this challenge. Rainbow Blast can eat the fattest part of my butt because I am so tired of losing to stupid bad enemies. So, we are changing things up and we are just gonna send out <laughs> the cat that loves to make short work of these types of enemies. Casa Jizo, please show him how it's done. Okay, you see? You just, you just pop them, take out your revolver, your little cat backpack, and you just shoot them. It's just that easy. That's all you have to do. It's not a big deal. I don't know why rare cats have such a hard time grasping that concept. Why don't they have little statues with guns in their backpacks? I don't know. Maybe you can figure that out for me. These guys should die pretty quickly too, I would hope. Watch this level be like incredibly difficult. <laughs> like not just because of the cats that I use, just in general, impossible. Wouldn't surprise me, but I, I know I think we're probably good. Oh, his corn weakens everybody. Why? That's strange. Oh, okay. Yep. Yeah, well, we're sending out a, a little bit of a welcome parade. Interesting. We do have some kind of a challenge going here. I would have never beaten this with those cats in a million years. Not in a million years. <laughs> Look at all the stuff that they're sending out. I didn't even bring a perfect loadout. I just brought some random cats that I used for the weekend challenge and assumed that it would be good enough. But even now, they're putting up a bit of resistance. Just, just a little bit, right? I can still hold them off and have Bahamut nuke over the shoulders of the meat shields, but I didn't expect this to be at all difficult. This is what I wanted. You know, I wanted a challenge. I wanted to actually lose and then overcome something. That's what we're doing today. This is far more entertaining than just crushing them, but I still wouldn't mind if you blew up that bear really quick. Oh, there's more than one bear? There, there was more than one bear. There, there isn't any more. Listen, Rabbit, it's been fun, but tricks are for kids, so if you could maybe get out of the way. There you go, thank you very much. Did not get the time reward, I don't think. But we did get uh, some things. We got our cat food, we got fully recovered. Was there supposed to be some kind of reward for this other than that? I feel like we were supposed to get some kind of weird unit. Unlikely chance of experience, unlikely chance of ex No, just experience. That's a bummer. So that challenge was a lot of fun for like five seconds, but now we're gonna move on to Poco Forest Friends and we're not screwing around. Okay, I've got my best lineup. We're moving on to Rabbit's Mischief. I've already gone through two full things of energy this episode and I wanna finish the entire collab event today because it ends in less than 24 hours and I need to unlock the weird missile carrot rabbit. So it's time to bring the pain. Doggo, you don't wanna do that. Trust me, dude, it's not worth it. You really, okay, you know what? Here comes the pain train. 
<laughs> Muhammad is gonna make quick work of this. I'm not even gonna bother sending out anything else. I'm pretty sure he should one-shot the base. All right, that was one little man, two basic doggos, and oh, and a boss, okay. I wasn't sure if there was gonna be anything else, but uh, oh no, not carrots at the elder dragon's feet is one weakness. <laughs> Good, we definitely got those time rewards. Oh, rare cat, Pokata. Po po co po -co Is is that you mean rare rabbit? Nope. Apparently cat is a very loose term in this game. Joining the fight from line Poco Pang, rabbity defender of justice who will do anything to help his friends. Okay, we have the derp rabbit. I feel like that's a good place to wrap up. But I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Battle Cats, guys. And I wanted to say at the end of this episode that, you know, I'm really happy that people are enthusiastic about the game. I love the fact that people enjoy the series and they wanna see more of it and they support it. And it just means that people love something that I create and that's awesome. But at the same time, you know, yelling at me in the comments of every other video that I post, saying stuff like, this isn't Battle Cats, where's Battle Cats? Make more Battle Cats, what are you doing? It's just, rude. No, I don't appreciate it, and it's not going to make me make more Battle Cats. Guilting me doesn't make me want to play the game more, it makes me want to play the game less. And it's like I've always said, you know, I just, I can't play the game every week. I want to, but there just isn't something for me to do every week, and I don't want to make videos that aren't worth your time watching, and I don't want to make videos that are just uneventful. So I'm gonna keep grinding in the game. When I'm ready to face off against Cats of the Cosmos, I'll make an episode. Or when I come up with a fun challenge like today, I'll make an episode. So you can expect another episode. I just don't know when. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time. <laughs>